What is up you guys? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Silas Top in Season 11 with this Silas Top guide. In this, you will learn all of the runes to build, the items to build, and just gameplay in general, mindset, and how to just completely carry a game one-handedly in the top lane. That being said, for the runes, you're going to want to go Conqueror because we will be going pretty tanky, but also we need the damage. Presence of mind for the extreme lack of mana that Silas has, and tenacity for the... Um, just so you don't get CC chain basically. Last stand is also very good for Silas because he heals more when he's at low health. For the secondary, because our laning phase is very difficult and hard, we're gonna be going Biscuit, Delivery, and Time Warp Tonic to help us survive the really hard times and so that we can scale later. We also wanna go Attack Speed for the CSing, Adaptive Force, and then Armor or Magic Resist depending on your lane. For the build, you're gonna to wanna to go Ionian Boots Lucidity, Everfrost as your mythic item. Zonia's Hourglass, Morello Namicon, Void Staff, and Arabidon's Death Cap to top it all out. With no more introduction, leave a like on the video if you like it, comment down below what you think about Silas Top and if you enjoyed the guide, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It's free, it's easy, and you can always unsubscribe later. Without further ado, enjoy guys. Okay, so today we are going to be doing the Silas Top guide. Are they invading? They're totally invading. But anyways, we're against the Clet Top, which is a pretty annoying lane, but um... What, what's going on here? Maybe we can catch someone out. Anyways, this will be kind of a guide of how to play in the top lane matchup, what to build, what runes to go, all that stuff. This is the gameplay part of it. So now you just gotta listen and see how we do what we do. And since we're early game Silas, we're gonna be playing really safe in the beginning of the game. Um, probably not gonna fight Clyde until level 3 and just gonna really respect him, which is what you're gonna wanna do with like probably every top laner because every top laner is really really strong in the beginning and you're not so just gonna focus on gaining XP getting CS if we can but a Clud lane is especially bad mostly because he has um what the heck why does it say Mecha Jax oh wait that's his name for some reason I thought I had the other thing on yeah so his anti heal is pretty brutal in the beginning of the game but uh, we got Corrupting Potion and Biscuits to help us out. Not the worst trade in the world, but... This is definitely a bad lane for Silas, but... I'll teach you how to play it to the best of your ability and probably win it, too. He's got a little two. That one stinking minion is at sixth health. If it died, we would have been level two. <laughs> that is... That's like what you're gonna run into as Silas. Probably the just bad luck. There we go, level two. I wish you had done that a while ago. Good trades though. And that corrupting potion is really helping us in this lane. I mean, look at our health compared to his. He's level three. We're gonna let the wave push in right here. And we actually, yeah. Look at that wave. We'll probably have more CS than him if we. Uh, Time it all right. Gotta get the cannon minion, that's most important. Take that. Nice! Okay, I thought he might have gotten a cheater recall off, but no. I want to make sure that Nocturne can take a scuttle safely. Um, because, yeah. As Silas, you'll probably be pushed into the lane pretty early on, and then your top laner will go to help the jungle. Got Nocturne here. Okay. That's good, wow. I didn't even need Nocturne, actually. I'm pretty surprised. Still have a Corrupting, still have a Biscuit. Should be killable. Playing pretty safe. Smart by him. I want him to use his W passive on minions before me so he doesn't get his thing back too fast. Nice. Boom! Right before he gets back on Skarl. How to do that quick. You want to really save your Conqueror stacks until your W. That way you do the most damage and the most healing. And, uh, and we get the cannon. Wow. What a good feeling. I hate Clyde. <laughs> Uh oh. Okay. We got TP still. Might use it to get back to the lane. 
And for the first item, you gotta go Ionian Boots. I mean, this stuff is just key. Movement speed, ability haste, really, really important for the early game Silas. But we will be going into Everfrost as our mythic item. Uh, Ionian Boots is just, just like cheap, efficient, movement speed, ability haste. I just said that, but it's, it's just really important for the early game when your cooldowns are so high. And that's the reason why we're going this. Uh, normally you'd think about mana, but we got biscuits and corrupting potion for mana, so we don't have to be too afraid of that. And we came back to lane, all the minions perfectly just waiting for us. And we didn't have to use TP, which is really, really nice. Gotta remember, we still only have 9 AP though. <laughs> But Silas is pretty good when it comes to base damage, so I'm not too worried about that. I TP'd without looking. Maybe I should- Oh, this is really good, actually. We have double TP. I'm not level 6 yet, unfortunately. She flashed. That's why you go the movement speed, brother. Nice. Now I kind of wish I got a Dark Seal. Still haven't even needed to use a Biscuit. That was a really- I didn't know TP Gangplank had TPT. That was really good. I have Kane's ulti. Let's push this to the tower. Maybe we can dive. No, they didn't stay. I need to head back top really fast, but... Wait. Oh, I really want enough for Lost Chapter. That's fine. I won't have enough for Lost Chapter. But we got the Kane ulti, which is really good because I hate Kled's ulti. I'm gonna recall. Ah. No, this is what we're gonna do. Buy this. Buy this. That's a good... <laughs> That's a good use of our gold. Now, I have three of our three kills, so this game is pretty responsible on me to carry, but... Okay, nice, we got Dragon off that pressure. And, uh, I missed some, you know, obviously, XP and CS top lane, but it was worth helping our bot lane out. And now we got mana, we got damage, we got an ability to haste. I think we could fight this Glad and beat him. I still have three of my biscuits, too. Oh. I used that? Okay, that's a splash. That's a splash and ulti. I went through his Q by using the Kane ulti. Oh, this poor sucker. And I'm gonna try to push this to the lane and get a few turret plates, actually. The good thing is, yeah, he ulted, so he can't even ult back to lane. He already TP'd, so he can't TP back to lane. And I can just push this in. If he stays, I can probably kill him under tower. So I'll be able to get a turret plate here, I'm a level above him, and... I'll be able to deny him some CS. So all really, really good stuff for me. Man, Balin is such a fiesta. I feel like I'm on an island over here. Four! Wow, four. Come on. Am I really not going to get that turret plate? I feel like I still beat this. Yeah, I wanted to wait for his, uh... That's a lot of damage. Goddamn. Oh my god! That no Magic Mantle made the biggest difference, and wow, his anti-heal was just crazy, and I actually just gave a shutdown there. Holy cud! I gotta respect him more, that was brutal. God, that anti-heal did a lot, and I was chugging biscuits and corrupting the corruption the whole time. Gotta get my revenge now, for sure. I think- I think Scar- or Nocturne could kill him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could definitely kill him. He's got nothing. Oh, wow, he's really greeting. Why are you going all the way around? Just press ulti, brother. There you go. I really want to get an assist. Oh, the kill. That's really good that I got the kill. Because that means two Dark Seal stacks. That's really good. Now I'm back in the game. I gotta be more careful with Kled. He's a really tricky champion. What? No TP? Now I'm actually gonna get... Now I'm finally gonna get this stupid 4... That baited me so hard. The 4 health on the tower for the turret plate. Don't know where Kane is. I'm gonna go for two turret plates. Boom. Two turret plates. We'll take it. Oh, 
Yikes. Bot is about to be one in six. I'm four of our five kills. Zyra's the other one. We scale really hard, though. This is just gonna have to be one of those long games, I guess. And I'd say we repeat gank him, honestly. Let's say I'd say we repeat gank him. And just kind of play for me to win the and carry this game. I don't have his ulti to steal. He just uses E. Okay, nice, he blocked the ulti. Kill this piece of crap, that's another plus two Dark Seal stacks. Thank you, Nocturne. This man knows who to camp. And who to gank. The flashless Kled, and then we burned his ulti. He should go for Rift Herald now. And then we can just completely take top turret. How much till Everfrost? 1050. So that's basically one more turret plate. One, two, three. Probably might have TP by now because my TP is almost up. Let's just recall. I really want to help bottom lane here. Hopefully they're still fighting in 10 seconds. Because that's a shutdown that I can take. Oh! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. No wards in the back, though. I think the ward 2, unfortunately. Or TP2. I'll TP to this. Hopefully they're just... Oh, nice nearsighted, then they're not going to see us. I'm going to chug a Corrupting Potion for the movement speed. Gotta kill the Soraka first, of course. Double kill. I'm out, I'm out. Or can we keep going? Clet, or Clet has no ulti, yeah. Alright. This is good. This is this is the l exact same time as last time I TP'd, and we can just take a dragon off of that, maybe. Unfortunately, I didn't get Kane's bounty, but... Oh my god, I'm 7-1. I'm 7 of our 8 kills. I feel like so responsible for this game. Eh, because I am, I guess. Nice kill. Yeah, take that for sure. I want to use this Kane ulti. I blew buff. Oh, nice, I blew buff. I didn't even realize that. Definitely need anti heal this game as well. Die! Oh my god! Bro! That Soraka healing! <sighs> I almost didn't kill him, which is the crazy part. Okay, Jinx is top lane, cool. I'll push this then. Nice. Alright, we're gonna rush Zonia's next item. Actually? Uh, they're very AP heavy. Okay. Definitely gonna buy this. Gonna sell this. Gonna buy this. Definitely need the anti-heal. Stopwatch is good, actually. I'm gonna go Zonia's into Banshee's Veil, and then Morello. But yeah, we definitely need anti-heal as the game goes on, because he's going Roths as well. Just a lot of healing in general. No no Nocturne has ulti. Oh crap. I should not leave a level 6 Zara with a level 10 Kled top lane. That's uh, irresponsible of me. I'm endangering... children. Is he killable? Oh, I wish I could steal your ulti. Okay. Wait, shut down. <laughs> I was like, is he killable? And then I cancelled his E teleport. Or his E walk. Oh, I knew I should have gotten Mage Eyes, bro. Well, she's struggling, but she's doing good. This is perhaps. Okay, I'm coming. Diveable, but do I really want to risk all that I've gotten? You got Merc Treads. I'm gonna try to pop his Scarl with my Q here. Ah, this is really not worth giving him 900 gold. Oh, just kidding, he left. <laughs> he was scared of me. Fair enough, he doesn't know where Nocturne is, and Nocturne has ulti, so he probably assumed he was getting Dove. I'm gonna take this tower. Nice! First turret! I 
That's a fight. I'm coming. You got this. You got this. He's got an ulti. He used it on me. Nice kill. And now my team's starting to perform well, too. Soraka's right there. That's an echo ulti down. Okay, that's a flash off of Skarl. Skarl, Kled. I have Echo Ulti, which makes me- I love Echo Ulti. This makes me really just like- I'm able to do whatever the hell I want. I can be risky. I have a stopwatch and Echo Ulti. I can play really aggressively and just do turret dives and crazy stuff like that. Just getting things right there. Uh, Alright, let's just recall and get Azonius here. I'll use the Echo Ulti as a free recall, as a free TP. Because I want to get some value out of it. A shepherd with no flock is just an idiot with a stick. I should be a little careful here. Okay, this is good. Let's hope this isn't warded. Okay, nice, nice. You got Red Sweeper. Anyone who walks through here is dead. Including ourselves. No, she's just dead. There's no one even near us. <laughs> oh my god, I just saw someone die. Merc treads, merc treads, okay. I might need to go avoid stuff, actually. I just walked back. Pass the pink. Ow. Like, wow, ow. He's got anti heal and that. Two core drinkers. I knew this was a good buy. I'm gonna TP. Okay. I wanna take this ulti because I like it a lot. Need to kill Soraka though. Oh, hit that. Got her. Waiting for my cooldowns, gonna use this. I don't even think I need to flash there. I'm just trying to help my team before they die. Does he have ulti? He does. There it is. Nice. Okay, that actually screwed him over. My anti-heal screwed him over. I hit the Everfrost on Soraka and then hit my E2 on her. That was kind of like, I don't know. I kind of just broke her ankles. <sighs> my 1 in 10 bot lane is just so happy, I bet. Someone's in that brush. Okay, it's Kane. Let's go for the dragon. One more and we're... Uh, actually, we're at soul point. After this, we'll be at soul point. It's really good. And then I need 1700 gold for Morello. I want to close that out because they are actually building a lot of anti-heal. Or um, a lot of healing. <laughs> Can I has this? I could still corrupting actually and just buy it. There's no need for it at this point. It's just confusing me with my actives. Boom, boom. Gonna get a red sweeper too so I can play assassin like. Three items to one. That's pretty good. I can steal Echo's ulti now too. That's gonna be my priority ulti this game. Ooh, kill him with the uh I killed him with the Everfrost active. Give me the Okay, that's all I wanted honestly was his ulti. Oh, you're dead. Wow. She literally just got deleted. That was cute, bro. Wait, I want to W off of him one more time. Yeah, I need the healing. 
I have a gold tea, so I, like I said, we could dive. I could dive with this. Oh, damn, did she? <gasps> That's so unlucky, actually. I feel bad for her. I just gotta get not CC chain here. Oh. Almost killed him, though. <laughs> Gotta be careful of CC. I do have tenacity, but still, it's pretty scary. Alright, this is warded. Oh my god, please be greedy. Oh, I thought he was going to recall in that bush or something. Let's go for the Magi's here. I think the movement speed will actually be really beneficial. And obviously the snowballing effect. stack. Oh. He didn't even get to... Oh, no, he actually... Wait, you kill him, you kill him! Nice. Kane didn't even get to ulti. You're just dead. <laughs> yeah, 18 stacks. We love that. And the FF. 15, 1, and 4. 15 of 22 kills, man. That is a Silas top lane carry and a... Just... Perfect. So if you guys like the video, please consider liking it, uh, commenting down below what you think about Silas Top, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Without anything else, peace.